True Bear Attack is one of the most gruesome attacks in America about a bear who severely mauled a man's face. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. This is the terrifying bear attack on Chase, Delaware. Chateau, Montana is a place of natural beauty and rich agricultural heritage. The picturesque landscape is home to a diverse range of wildlife, including some of the most elegant creatures in the animal kingdom. Among these are mule deer, wolves, badgers, squirrels, moose, elks, and both black and grizzly bears. It's no wonder that Chateau has become a popular destination for game hunting, with the abundance of wildlife making it an ideal location for hunting enthusiasts. On a chilly Saturday morning in October 2015, two brothers, 26-year-old Chase Delwo and his 30-year-old brother Shane, set out on a bow hunting expedition for elk and Benham. The brothers had grown up on a family ranch in Blackleaf, and their experience as big game hunters gave them confidence in their skills with a bow. Despite the intense cloud cover and harsh weather, with temperatures dropping to as low as 7 degrees and snow-filled winds, the thought of a hot and sumptuous selk steak kept them motivated. Their limited visibility presented a significant challenge for hunting, but the brothers weren't daunted. They devised a plan, with Shane scaling up ridge to get a clear aerial view of the creek bed below while Chase drove the elk herd towards it. The plan was risky, but the brothers were determined to succeed. Shadow, Montana, is a land of adventure and excitement with a thriving community of hunters and outdoor enthusiasts. For those seeking an adrenaline rush and an unforgettable hunting experience, this is the place to be. The hunters had strategized meticulously, believing that their plan was foolproof. But fate had other plans in store for them. As Chase followed the twists and turns of the creek bed, the weather suddenly took a turn for the worse. What had started as a light drizzle quickly turned into a torrential downpour, with raindrops beating down on his shoulders like a musical chime. The snow in the air made everything hazy, and visibility was limited to just a few meters. The odds were against him, and he wondered if the hunt would be a success. Then, he heard it a bugle followed by a chuckle. The sound was unmistakable. A bull elk was nearby, and he knew he had to act fast if he was going to strike it. He scanned his surroundings, trying to pinpoint the source of the sound. But just as he was about to make his move, an eerie feeling crept up on him. It was as though he was being watched. The air had changed, and there was a new scent in the air. He tried to sniff it out, but before he could make sense of it, he was knocked to the ground by a massive grizzly bear. Chase was no stranger to bear encounters, having grown up on a family ranch. But this was different. The bear was enormous, standing tall on its hind legs and towering over him. Its thick, shaggy fur seemed to hold all the secrets of nature within it. In one swift move, it sank its three-inch fangs into Chase's left thigh and skull catching him off guard. In that moment, the hunter became the hunted. Despite all his experience and background, he was unable to avoid this nose-to-nose -nose encounter with the grizzly bear. It was a stark reminder of the unpredictability and power of nature. Had the weather been more welcoming, Chase might have spotted the bear from a distance and avoided it. However, fate had other plans. Despite the bear ceasing its attack momentarily, Chase found himself bleeding and severely injured, feeling helpless and certain that death was near. The tenacious beast pinned him down with its clawed paws, letting out a thundering roar as if to assert its dominance. When it stepped back, Chase made the mistake of sitting up, only to be bitten on the leg and shaken violently before being thrown into the air. As he hit the ground, the bear came at him again, this time going straight for his head. In a brief moment of reflection, Chase remembered an article his grandmother had once shown him about animals' sensitive gag reflexes on their soft palates. Summoning all his courage and remaining strength, he shoved his arm into the bear's throat, causing the beast to disappear into the snow, gagging uncomfortably. Despite his brave act, Chase knew that the bear would not give up easily and that he needed to move quickly. His hunting gear was in tatters, and he was covered in blood and mud. With his palms, 
he wiped the blood off his eyes and made the decision to flee towards the direction of the ridge where he had seen his brother earlier. Shane, his brother, spotted him waving and initially thought the cavalry had arrived, but upon closer inspection, realized the dire state of his younger sibling. Rushing down to him, he administered first aid and stopped the bleeding, but was concerned about the possibility of internal bleeding. Shane quickly transported Chase to the hospital, driving at breakneck speed, leaving a cloud of smoke and the smell of burnt diesel and rubber in their wake. They arrived just in time at the emergency wing of the Benefits Teton Medical Center in Chuto, where Chase underwent a lengthy five-and-a-half-hour surgery that left him with hundreds of stitches on his face. When asked for his advice to fellow hunters, Chase emphasized the importance of never going alone and always living in agreement with nature.